So I'm going to show you how to create some really cool covers. And to make it easy, I'm going to create a project from a blank uh, sheet of paper, as it were. OK, so I'm not putting any content in. And I'm going to just choose one of these templates down here. That um, How about this one? OK. And go into Next. And we're going to call this Cover 1. OK, so it's going to open a blank project. So I can just work on this cover. Um, obviously, if you're doing this, you'll have worked on your content by now, or or at least imported your content. So let me show you a few things that you can do. Um, so you know, here is the the cover, and what I want to do is I'm going to create an artificial spine. Okay, so I'm going to make it look like it's a real book with a with a spine down here. And so one of the ways you can do that is to um, add an element, uh, a simple text element, so a paragraph, and you just drag that in here, okay? And uh, it's gone white because the text is white, okay? Um, but So if I just make that text darker color just so you can see, it's not important because we're going to get rid of this text in a second. Um, but the point is here I've got a text box now, okay? And I'm going to squish this text box down so it's really narrow. And then I'm going to push it right to the top, OK, um, and extend it down to the bottom of my page, OK? So now it's down to here, OK? Um, and I could just move my author thing out the way. All right, so here is my text box. But I'm not actually going to use the text in it. All right, um, so what I'm going to do is keep that highlighted and go to border. And what I'm going to do is put a right border on that line. OK, so on this side of the container. OK, um, so then so I've done that and then I'm going to just select one of these options. So I could do a solid line or a groove or a ridge. Let's try a ridge. And I just need to give it a color. In fact, what color is it giving it already? So it's giving it a light sort of gray color there. Um, let's just make it a bit. A bit bigger. So it's done three pixels, three PX. PX stands for pixels. So I'm just putting a four there. OK, and it'll make it slightly bigger. OK, so now I have. I'm clicking away from it now so you can see it. But I have this dark line there, which is basically my sort of spine cover. So I could leave it like that. What I think I'll do is I'll just make it a bit lighter. And I'm going to take it all the way down here. There we go. That's a lot more subtle, do you see? So I've literally just got a subtle gray line down there. And so then all I need to do is click in the text box, double click the text, and delete it. Um, and then just make it a bit narrower. All right, so I'm going to zoom, take it out to about there. Click Save. And um, let's just quickly see what this looks like. Do you see there? So there's my line. Let's put my name in the bottom. And then if I save this, and if you look at this as a PDF, you'll start to see the kind of look that I'm going for. Right? So, um, and the other thing is then obviously your cover page has also got it. And that, that is, this is where it really matters. So if I go into the 3D cover generator, OK, can you see now how it looks like it's actually got a spine? Yeah, let's do a few more things. What I find um, is, you know, when, you, when you're doing a title like this, um, often people want like a pre-header. OK, so, you know, this, this could be, you know, this could be the main title. So let's say, um, OK, so if I'm in business, 
All right, so you can keep that as your main title. Let's move that over a little bit so that it fits in with this uh, image around the side here. And then we want kind of an intro here. Again, elements, typography, drag in a paragraph. Okay, so then we'll just put that up there. So that's kind of like a pre-header. So it kind of gives the uh, the reader a bit more information about what it might be. This is the main title. Um, obviously, you know what that is. And the other thing that you might want to do is put some more um, text underneath the author. So just again, you can just drag that. Um, let's put that in here. For example, if it was a non-fiction, you know, maybe you're doing something for an agency or something like that. Then you can put your address and contact details like this. Okay, so I'm just going to move that underneath there. Okay, um, and so we're just about there for that piece. All right, I'm going to save that and I'm going to show you uh, another cool technique. Okay, so on the topic of covers, I, I want to show you how to get like really good images for your cover backgrounds. Um, so I'm just going to obviously go to the media manager here. And as you know, you can upload images and everything like that, but I'm just going to use the search. Okay, and the, the trick here is to use simple nouns, right? So if I type in water, for example, okay, so there are a ton of really good images and really good quality. And if you click on this little arrow here, it will pop out into another window so you can have a better look at it. Okay, so look at this. It's like a splash with a lot of black around it, which is great because it will, this gives you a lot of space to put text. Okay, um, so that would be a really cool one to use. Let's see if there's something else. This one would be a good one. Okay, again, a lot of space for text. Um, what's this? Looks like a gin and tonic or something. Okay, so obviously this needs to be more, you know, about fears, about drinks, about food and drink, maybe something like that. But because it's got all this space on the right, you can put your text there. Okay, so this is the kind of thing you're looking for. Um, so simple nouns where there's space on the image for your text. Okay. Um, I'm going to just show you a couple more. Let me just, I'm just going to use this one because I really like that order image. And, um, and if we don't find anything better, okay, then we'll change it. All right. So, um, let's go back up the top here. So, uh, let's try art. Okay literally just type that all right so uh here's one right a lot of white space around the image okay so this is where your text will go so a lot of these aren't going to work so well for example you know this one here obviously a great image but it, it can be just too busy for a cover so if you did want to use something like this then you'd have to put your text inside you know a background color block or something like that Obviously, this one here is just a pattern, so that would work well as a cover. Let's try a couple more nouns just to show you the types of things that make really good covers. Music. Okay, here's another example, right? So anything to do with listening would work well with that. This one over here, an old cassette tape. Yeah, a lot of white, a lot of space here for your, uh, for your text. All right. So I think you can see the idea. So what you're looking for sort of abstract images that, uh, that aren't too busy so that you have a lot of space on the cover for the text of your cover. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, by using those kind of things, it, it means that you don't have to put a background on the text. All right, so let's um, let's go with this one because I think this is really cool. So 
again, you know, I've got my title is, um, is too dark, right? So let's give it a quick title. And then let's highlight it. I'm just going to change the text color to something much brighter. All right. Now, by default, these titles are centered. And I always suggest something that looks good is to make them to right justified or left justified towards whichever side of the cover you're going to be. So I'm going to put this over to the right. And so I'm going to right justify it and then drag it over like this. Okay, and that kind of really stands out. And then the author. Let's do it here. Put this in uh, again. It needs to stand out. Let's just try a white here and see if this works. So it's it's okay. It doesn't stand out that well. But again, you can put a background around it, right? So um, rather than just put the background around the whole footer, you can put a background just on the text. Like that. In fact, I want to make that black. Now, I want to show you a couple of other things to do within the text itself, okay, to make things like really, really stand out. Let's put a, a heading, right? So a heading. So let's just drag one in. So I'm going to put a heading here, okay? So this could be chapter one. And let's put another one in. Obviously, the default is to put everything left justified, but I think sometimes it looks very cool if you do the opposite. And um, so by that, I mean, you know, right justify the text like this. Um, and, and then put a, a, a line underneath it. OK, and the way to do that is to click on the heading and then go to your border tool over here and click under, underline this one here. Select a line. I just want a solid line. And then put your color. Okay. So, you know, obviously it's defaulted to the black, but you know, you can change that to any color you like. So let's maybe use a, a navy blue. And of course it does it to all the headings. Yeah. In the whole book. So you only need to do this once and then the whole book comes out really cool. Okay. So that um, I'm going to leave that there. A couple of other tips just to make it look professional. Um, paragraph size, okay, so text size. Even though a lot of the default templates um, come in probably on around, I think it's about 18 point font, something like that. I find a 14 point font tends to look more professional. Okay, it's a little bit more polished. The text doesn't have to be that big. Okay, so. Um, and remember, you just need to take, change that once. So whatever you change here gets changed throughout the whole document. So if I change the font size to 16, then it changes all the paragraphs. Okay, I hope you found that uh, useful. And that shows you how to customize um, and make your covers look really cool.